Alright, beloved, check this out. <laughs> God is so strategic, precise. So I'm walking to my, uh, well, I was talking to my dog, right? And I walked to my, my backsliding door to open it, right? And this was on the screen. Frozen, right? Because it was cold, freezing cold all night. So it's still frozen until it thaws out and flies off. See that? You'll see that, right? That beat. Kind of blurry. So I see it. Okay. I know when I see stuff like that, the Lord is speaking. It's starting to move right now. It's unfreezing. But. So, the Holy Spirit tells me to look it up, check that out, right? Let's get back in there. And so, spiritual, biblical meaning, okay? For bees, what do bees symbolize in the Bible? Bees hold a significant, excuse me, bees hold a special significance in the Christian religion, okay? As they manifest the characteristics of Jesus. I hear that. Confirmation, confirmation, right? Strength, perseverance, and wisdom. In Christian tradition, the bee is even regarded as the emblem of Jesus Christ himself. can't make this stuff up y'all for real like can I make this up so whatever what you've been going through for the past however long you've been going through it okay these are the things okay that are a part of who you are strength perseverance and wisdom okay and you're gaining them as you meet these challenges, as the Lord pulls you through uh, 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 from glory to glory, okay? After that time you had the other night, okay, that, that, that just, that heaviness, that, that confirmation, okay? Like, I know that, when I say I know, I know. I know that it can get pretty draining, pretty heavy, because you have given, beloved, you have given, you have given, you have given. Like you give like there's no tomorrow, and you do it out of the kindness of your heart, you know? It's not that you do it to be seen of men, right? Do it to, to expect something in return. No, you do it from your heart space, and people don't get that about you. People always do things for their benefit if they can get something out of out of out of the deal, right? And that's how that's not how it is supposed to be. You're supposed to do things for people out of a out of a, a correct heart space. That's why I don't. You know what? I've learned, learned. I've learned not to accept gifts from everyone. Right? Because most people have a motive. Confirmation again. Come through here, Jesus. I've learned not to accept gifts from everyone because people have motives. Right? They're not just giving. They're not all people now. But they're not just giving out of a, out of a correct heart space because they love you. They're giving because they want something out of you point blank period they want something from you they want something out of you that's why if somebody's bringing me a gift or something I'm, I'm skeptical about it I'm gonna act I'm gonna you know use my discernment about it cuz why, why are you giving why are you doing something nice for me like why are you what's the catch right because I don't have anybody in my life and never have I had anybody in my life 
that treats me like I treat other people. Not one, not one. My whole life, like my whole life. Nobody treats me the way, not even a little bit, the way that I treat them and the way that I feel towards them. They don't, it's not anyway. Confirmation after confirmation. Y'all might, y'all might say that's just a dryer uh, buzzer, but <laughs> it, it's mighty mysterious that it buzzes on these key, these key points that I hit. Okay, the Lord uses all things to to speak. Okay, but yeah, these are things that you embody, beloved. Strength. Okay, <laughs> untapped strength, might I add. Okay, strength that is unlimited, right? You have the Lord, you have unlimited strength. Even when you are weak, even when you are weak, you are strong. Perseverance, the ability to keep on moving forward, to keep your hand to the plow, right? Soon and very soon, the plowman shall overtake the reaper, okay? And I mean days. The Spirit says days. When I say soon, I mean days. Because you've been waiting a long time. Thank you, Abba. <laughs> days. That's your confirmation right there. In days, things will start to open up. Your man I'm telling you, your manifestations will one quick on the heels of the other. Okay? Don't give up, beloved. Oh, I know you're not going to give up. That's I, that, I don't think that's something I have to say to you, but know that you're not alone in that, okay? I know that you've been doing everything that you've been doing out of the kindness of your heart, right? And sometimes it can get heavy when people just take from you, right? On top of you giving, people steal it from you too. They steal from you as well. And, and it just gets draining after a while, you know, because people think that you're soft and that's not the case. That's not the case. The case is we cannot act on our own accord because best believe if we could, we'd get all off in that, I'm just saying. And I think these people know that. Hence why they will never face us, right? They will never face us. A lot of us haven't seen them since probably like a month ago. If they have come by your house, it's been sneakily, right? They didn't stole stuff off of my porch, my boots and stuff to do, to do witchcraft with, I already know. But they swear that I don't know. A, who else could it be? B, I got a camera in the corner of, of by my front door. I got a camera. I can see him. Like it's crazy. Mm hmm. The devil is a lie. Who who called me from a five one zero number? I, I don't know that number. Mm hmm. That's the Bay Area. Ain't nobody in the Bay Area. Uh. But yeah. So don't worry, beloved. Your 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 day's coming, and uh, and they're gonna look up at you, and their jaws are gonna be dropped and then they're gonna become oh i'm sorry i didn't, I didn't know i didn't know <laughs> well even if you knew oh you would treat me better if you knew who i was that's no better because you shouldn't be treating anyone the way that you treat me you shouldn't be treating anyone that way and i know i wasn't the first one that you've done that too right you weren't the first one but you're the last <laughs> you're the last okay i'll tell you that God is just beginning to deal with these people. <laughs> and it's not gonna let up. It is not. They will be under that, they will be under that for a long, long, long time. Very long time. You can't tell karma what you don't you can't tell karma when to stop, right? You don't know, you don't know when karma's gonna stop. It just gives you your just due. Actually, yeah, it gives you your just due. I was about to say more, but no. If more is your portion, that's the just do that you're gonna receive, right? Even if it takes you to death. Karma doesn't differentiate or no, it's just, it's energy, okay?
universe will <laughs> match your energy, right? Keep that same energy, right? You know how people like to say that? Yeah. Tell them to keep that same energy. <laughs> keep that same energy, all right? All right, beloved. I love you, beloved. All right? Hang on. Hold on, right? Days. Days away. Three days. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Three days. Three days. Your manifestations will be here. Three days. Three days. Strength, perseverance, and wisdom. That's three. Three days. <laughs> Love you, beloved. All right? Keep your head up. Chin up. Chin up. All right? Love you. God loves you. Peace.